Welcome, this will be a rather quick video where I'll show you the new object and map group by methods and how you can use them to split the arbitrary JSON datasets by a certain key or condition into smaller groups of grouped data. We'll check a look at the methods, their API, I'll talk about browser support and a little bit about polyfills and how you can use them to support older browsers. Let's jump into the code. To demo the functionality, I've prepared a simple dataset uh, called inventory. It just contains objects which are basically fruits and vegetables. They have a name type and some quantity. There's nothing specific about this dataset. I'm just using it to demo the group by functionality, which can of course be used with any arbitrary array of objects. Now let's say we want to group the inventory by type. We can use the object group by method and you won't get IntelliSense yet in most editors because it's a newly available feature. But the first property is the array and the second property is a callback function from which we have to return the key we want to group by. In this case, I want to group by type. And let's say, and let's console walk that. And I'll run that script with Node.js. Note that this is not available in the latest LTS version of Node, which is 20. It's available from, for Node.js 21 and newer. But it will run here because I'm running Node 22, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, Node 22. So let's run the script. And we get our object grouped by the type value as a key. Now, note, we don't need to group by a specific property of the array of the object. As you can see here, we have a function and you probably already figured out we can return anything here. So let's say, for example, that we want to, let's say we want to return uh, restock, return inventory, we want to restock. For example, I want to restock all items which are below 10 of quantity and mark items above 10 as sufficient. So to do that, I'll just do an if statement. If item is greater than 10, we'll return don't restock, do not restock. Otherwise, I'll return restock. All right, and I'll console walk now. Inventory for restocking, of course. Let's run that. As you can see, we have completely custom keys here, which we group from. So we can use multiple values here from the object to, to derive an entirely custom grouping. We have that freedom based on the fact that we have a complete callback function, not just a simple parameter we pass, which is the key to group by with. Now, another flexibility of that function, let me just go back to the type grouping for a second, not the quality, the quantity grouping. So another cool thing about the group by function is it's not only available for object, but also for map. So if I do map group by and console walk again, I now get a map object, as you can see right here. And I can, for example, get fruits. There we go. This might be useful in some cases. Maps have different features than objects, different uh, retrieval rules, runtimes, everything. This is currently a baseline feature for 2024. It's available in the stable versions of most browsers, but uh, not all browsers. If I open the MDN documentation for object group by, you can see it's newly available in most modern browsers, but of course you will have issues if you want to run that and support older browsers. We have the most uh, latest version since March, 2024. Now, if you need to support other browsers, like most people have to, you can use a polyfill. There are many available poly polyfills for object group by as not it's not very complex in terms of functionality, it's just convenient, but uh, a polyfill is also included in the CoreJS library of polyfills, the standard library of polyfills, which includes many polyfill functions up to ECMAScript, 
up to the latest ECMAScript standards. So you can include that polyfill from CoreJS. It's a modular, modular library. You don't need to include all polyfills. You can use only what you need. With this, I'll wrap today's video. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I release another video. Take care.